In a recent video, I showed you how you can finally hibernate your Azure Virtual Machines, which makes it ideal for Azure Virtual Desktop. Here in the AVD portal, go to your host pool and make sure that you have a new registration token. If not, just click right over here and generate one, and then go to your session hosts. Click that at the top and then click next on the first screen. Make sure that your availability zone options are selected here and just be aware that a feature like ephemeral disks are not supported with hibernation. And also notice that the new default of trusted launch is selected for you. Just remember to check the boxes for VTPM, secure boot and integrity monitoring, which we've covered in a previous video. Now under all that, just check the box to enable hibernation. And again, to make this work, your VMs need to be Gen 2 VMs, which means they have to come from a Gen 2 image, and you've got to have a size that's compatible with Hibernate. Then you just select your network and your join options as you always would, and then complete the build. Once that's done, jump over to your virtual machines that just got created. On the left, go to the extensions, and you should have the Azure Hibernate extension installed. Now with the build complete, let's go back to the AVD portal, and over on the left, go to your scaling plans. If you have an existing plan, click that to edit. But if you don't, you can just click add and create a new one quickly. Click on one of your schedules, then click next. And I showed you how to set all this up in a recent video, which I'll link you to at the end. Right now, this plan is configured to only shut down virtual machines. So let's make it hibernate. And to do that, you just have to click right over here and select hibernate. But hold on a second. Now that we have the option for shutdown or hibernate, you can set different behaviors at different parts of the day. But this also means that you could set the disconnect and log off times to be a lot shorter because startup is so much faster from hibernate. Click next and here in the peak hours section, which right now for me is scheduled from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m., I want the VMs to hibernate fast. So I'll make those times really short. That way, if a user goes to lunch, their VMs will power off quick so I can save some money. And when they come back, it'll just take them a quick second to log back in. But take a look at the ramp down time. Here, I want the VMs to hibernate if the user disconnects because maybe they're going to keep working from home. But if they log off, I'm gonna shut down the VM because I assume that they're done for the day. And similar in the peak hours time, although here I can probably just set everything to shut down. And in any of these times, if a user needs to log back in, Start VM on Connect is right there to help them power on the VM when they demand it, and then they can get back in without having to call the help desk. Here I've logged on to one of my personal hosts with my account, and my scaling plan at this time of day is configured to hibernate the VM if I log off. So let's do that. You click Start, click your little picture down there, click Sign Out. And then after two minutes, the VM becomes unavailable. And if we jump over to the virtual machine, we can see the status here is in hibernation. And since I have Start VM on Connect enabled on this pool, I can just go back to my AVD agent, click my icon, that'll wake the VM back up, and I get signed right back in and can get to work. Now, before you give hibernation a try in AVD, you may want to watch this video to get the basics of hibernation in Azure since it's pretty new, or you may want to check out this video and learn how to set up your AVD scaling plans for your personal pools. Happy learning.